Hi, this is a geometrical figures video and we're looking at using similarity, the idea of similarity to solve problems. Let's have a look at a key example here. Similar figures, we'll remember, they have exactly the same shape but they're not necessarily the same size. They might be double or a third or whatever. In similar figures though, we'll have to remember that matching angles are dead equal but matching sides are in the same ratio. So if there's a ratio between a pair of the sides from one triangle to another or one figure to another, that ratio will, ratio will hold true for the other sides that are matching between the two, sh two figures. So let's have a look how that works in an example here. We have uh, these two shapes. Now we'll have to be careful to make sure we get the matching sides with the, the other sides on the shape because uh, they're, it's a bit um, not, not necessarily in the same um, orientation here. One's pointing downwards here and the other one's pointing right to left sort of thing. So notice we've got the names here. One is the original, that big one is the original, and the second one is the image. So really from the original that's been reduced, or we say it might have an enlargement factor that's a fraction. It might be a third of the size or a quarter of the size or whatever. Let's have a look at, um, see if we can pick a pair of sides that are related to each other that we know about. And you'll notice that uh, 18 is like the square end there, or the rectangular end, and 6 is on the same spot on the other figure, even though it's in a different orientation there. And uh, do we have another complete pair? Uh, yes, we have a long side here that's 11 and a long side there that's 33. So those complete pairs are going to help us find the scale factor in this figure. Remember that um, the scale factor is the image length over the original length. Now we have the labels there. This is the first one's the original, the second one's the image. So the image length, if we take the 6 and the 18 that we said were matching, they're both in the same spots on the uh, the two different figures there, uh, both on the end there where it's uh, making 90 degrees there. The image length, the image length is 6 and the original length is 18. They're the matching sides there that we can compare. So we'll put 6 over 18, that's the pair that we're focusing on, and that gives us our scale factor. That can boil down or simplify 6 over 18, simplifies down to be one third as a fraction. Now that's the scale factor. So really if you think about it in plain English, we have made an image here that is one third of the size of the original. Exactly the same sort of shape, but it's one third the size. So the scale factor we've applied is one third. Now if we're going from the original to the image, we have one third of the sizes of the, uh, of the sides. But if we're going the other direction, can you see that we would have to triple uh, the image uh, amounts to get to the matching part of the original? So when we say it's a scale factor of one third, it depends on what direction we're going. That's uh, it's one third if we're going from the original to the image, but it's three times the upside down, the reciprocal of that, three times if we're going from the image back to the original. Let's have a look at that. We have a scale factor of a third we'll remember now, but if we're asked to find the value of A, we want to find the value of this. We have a look at its matching side over here which is 21. They're both the slopey bits on the on the figures here, so we're comparing that. If we have a scale factor of one third, guess what we've got to do to 21 to get the matching side that's going to be on our image? We're going to have to multiply that by one third. So A is going to be one third of that 21, because one third is the kind of the magic number that translates our original figures uh, into the image amounts. So one third of 21 on your calculator if you need to is uh, seven centimeters. I'm sure some of you can do that in your head. So we found out the value of A there by just applying the scale factor to the matching uh, amount on the original so that we can figure out the amount on the image. Now we'll go the other direction here, we'll find B. Let's have a look at B and see what number that's matching to. B's on the original and we have information about a, a matching side there on the image. Now that image is one third of the size of the original, so to get from the image back to the original we would have to triple it. To work backwards there. So we're going to do three lots of that eight centimeters and get 24 centimeters there. So we're either uh, applying a scale factor of one third or the reciprocal of that three over one if we're going the opposite direction. Okay, so that's uh, how we might use similarity and scale factor to solve a problem. We've found the missing side length of A and B by applying the scale factor.
Hope that helps and I hope you have some success with uh, solving similar problems using similarity. PeterBlakeMath.com, thanks for listening.